The Prime Minister says an Indigenous voice to Parliament would help solve problems such as the ongoing crisis in Alice Springs. In a wide-ranging interview with Sky, Anthony Albanese says those playing politics with the voice will end up on the wrong side of history. Our political reporter Olivia Caisley has this story. Anthony Albanese has opened the door to reinstating a total alcohol ban in Alice Springs as he searches for a solution to the spiralling crime crisis in the Red Centre. The Prime Minister described the decision to establish a central Australian controller as radical and decisive, saying it'll make a long-term difference in Alice Springs. Other measures on the cards include stricter purchasing limits on takeaway alcohol and additional funding for Northern Territory Police. Laws banning alcohol in the region lapsed last year. But the Prime Minister says it's not his government's fault the booze ban was allowed to lapse, saying it ended before the new parliament sat. Mr Albanese says the ongoing street violence is precisely the sort of issue which could be dealt with by an Indigenous voice to parliament. The question is this, Andrew, if not now, when? When do we recognise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in our nation's birth certificate? I think this should be above politics, frankly. After taking Peter Dutton's advice to visit the Territory town on Tuesday, Mr Albanese wants a similar bipartisan approach to The Voice, urging his rivals to stop playing politics in the lead-up to the referendum. When we talk about leadership, I'm not the only person in a position of leadership in this country. The leaders of other major parties and indeed minor parties, including the Greens political party, this is a moment for them as well. Will they seize the opportunity to unite the nation? He also issued a stark warning about the economy after the nation's inflation rate rose to 7.8% in the December quarter, the highest since March 1990. We'll continue to be a government that is responsible and prudent uh, but it also points towards our vulnerability as an economy, the fact that we're exposed uh, to uh, international movements so much in the way that, that we are because we need to be more resilient going forward. Anthony Albanese has opened the door to spending more on defence ahead of a sweeping strategic review into military costs due next month. Defending our country is not going to be uh, cheap. Uh, I said that before the election that I saw uh, our defence expenditure as being uh, not just 2% uh, of GDP, that it, it would be potentially rising. It comes as China expands its influence in the Indo-Pacific. Olivia Caisley, Sky News, Canberra.